In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Cloudflare Turnstile instead of Google Recapture. There's many reasons to consider Cloudflare Turnstile. It's easy to integrate, it's a very nice alternative to Google Recapture. It's fast and it's, uh, it's got more privacy. Uh, you can just search for Cloudflare Turnstile if you want to read more about it. But this is basically the Cloudflare box, similar to Google Recapture. But there's no annoying uh, image to click and so on. And without getting too technical, because I don't know all the ins and outs, but it does analyze traffic and so on, and it it's got different settings where you can make it more secure, less secure, and so on. But I'm using it for a little while, and I really like it. Now I've got a demo website here, and I've got my Cloudflare control panel. Now you will need to add your website to Cloudflare, which is very easy. I think I've got a video on that. I'll link it below or put it in a card somewhere. But make sure your site is with Cloudflare first and it's activated ready to go like this one is and then you click on turnstile from the main Cloudflare control panel I'll probably need to blur some of this add site um, demo, demo t, t doesn't matter what you call it then you find your domain so Okay, it finds your website, and then from here you can have the widget mode as managed, uh, non-interactive or invisible. Um, invisible does not require any interaction, so it just looks at the traffic. Uh, non-interactive is, um, they'll see the widget but it won't load a bar. And managed is what I want the default setting managed. So I'll show you what that looks like. So now, just like with Google Recapture, you get a site key and a secret key. So now we'll go over to WordPress, go to Plugins, Add New. There's a nice free plugin available. Just put in Turnstile. <coughs> it's this one here. So install now. Activate. Okay, so now we just need to copy our settings over. So, site key, control C, and secret key. Okay, theme light, dark or auto, language auto detect, appearance mode always, interaction only. I like to disable submit button until the thing has been verified. You can also whitelist. Um, and I, I like to enable it. One second, game on. I like to enable it on all forms. So WordPress login, register, reset password, comment. And you can also integrate it with WooCommerce, e easy digital downloads, Pay membership Pro, Contact Form Seven, all these forms. Mailchimp. I think I've added a few here. Elemental forms, Mailchimp, <coughs> members, member press, WP members, and so on. Let's click Save Changes. Now you see it's almost done, so it's verifying. Success, a test response. And that's it, all successful working. So now let me log out. Oops. Now you see the verifying success. So I'm just logging as normal now. Might need to blur this. And that's it, turns out installed. So if I had a contact form, for example, and it's in that list, we would include the turnstile in that as well. And let's see if it actually shows anything in here. Let me just blur some of this. Okay, it's not updated the data yet. On some of my sites, um, I'll show you a little bit. It, sh it shows you the visitor solve rate and the API solve rate. Okay, let me see if picked up anything yet. Okay, here we go. So this is analytics for the one I just installed. <coughs> it says here four challenges issued, four unsolved. <laughs> it's all getting off my site already. Admin hyphen test, WordPress hyphen login, trusting. 
So I bought okay. I just <coughs> I literally bought this domain about an hour ago. And already it's probably a spammy domain, but already people are getting after it, so anyway, it's interesting. That's why I always suggest you install any of these login programs and security. So yeah, that's that quick demo, about five minutes. Very easy to install, highly recommended. Of course, try it first, try the variations in the Cloudflare settings, see what works best for you. Hope you find it useful, see you in the next one.